Coins are arguably one of the most important things in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Collecting them allows you to increase your speed by a lot, often making the difference between a podium finish and a disappointing seventh. But how many coins can you actually collect in a single race? For example, this glider section with two coin circles on Mario Kart Stadium. Now, they're really easy to collect on their own, but with only three laps, you might realize that no matter the angles, you can't collect them all. So that's why my goal was to collect as many coins as possible throughout all the different courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. All attempts will be done in time trials since coins don't respawn in that mode with any kart combination and on 150 or 200 cc. I will also be ignoring coins that respawn such as those from the train in N64 Rainbow Road. With the rules out of the way, it's time to determine which coins were super simple to collect so that I could focus on the ones that were more of a challenge. With a little help from a friend, I counted every coin on each track as well as making notes of ones that may cause some problems later on. After cross-referencing our findings with the game files, we determined that 35 out of the 96 tracks have coins that might not be possible to collect. To start off, let's use our previous example of Mario Kart Stadium. Despite looking incredibly simple, you can only collect one or two, and with three laps, that nets you a measly six coins. As it turns out, if you use an extremely large kart combination, it is possible to collect four coins in one lap. Now this sounds promising, since on the third lap we only need to collect two coins, but sadly these coins are too far apart to grab, leaving us with a single coin that is unobtainable. Next up, Twisted Mansion. The problem with this course is found after exiting this water tunnel and hitting the glide ramp. There are a ton of coins in this section, with a lot of them being similar to Mario Kart Stadium's rings. With so many coins up in the air, it's time we get creative. Meet Andy Best, talented racer and skilled glitch hunter. Andy and another friend, Galaxy Guy, will be helping me with this challenge. Andy came up with this route for the course. First, drive backwards until you reach the fountain area. Then you need to bonk into this specific corner. This allows you to jump off of the fountain and make it into the gliding section without Lakitu interfering. Collect all the coins in this area before carefully navigating right before the glider ramp to get a more precise angle of launch. While gliding, you have to collect these three specific coins. Do this trick some more times before we are left with two coins on each side and the bottom ones at the top entrance to the mansion. Next, jump off the fountain to collect the bottom coin on either side. Andy then decided to complete the rest of his laps, grabbing the two coins off to the sides, as well as some more of the difficult ones on the balcony. Two more incredibly difficult jumps later, you collect the two coins at the top, finishing the track. After that, we move on to Shy Guy Falls. This glider ramp has five coins, and despite them looking quite difficult to collect, you can get all in a single lap by going off the glider at an angle and getting picked up by Lakitu. The next issue, another coin circle. There are too many to get by simply flying through it for three laps, and even if you could, there are some coins in the top cave that you need to get as well. We tried going immediately to the top, collecting all the coins in there, and then using a mushroom to boost backwards into the coin circle, but we still couldn't reach two of them. But then Galaxy Guy had an idea. What if we were able to enter the tunnel while still collecting a coin from the circle? And after trying it, he was just barely able to sneak into the tunnel after collecting the one in the top right. He was then able to do it while collecting a different coin from the the circle, meaning that by collecting the rest in the tunnel and then boosting into the circle again, you are able to collect every coin on the track. Sunshine Airport is basically just Mario Kart Stadium all over again, with a glider section with two coin circles, leaving us with only one coin left. On Dolphin Shoals, you can collect all the coins in the cavern by going into the far right path, bonking against the wall, collecting the two coins, and then falling down. You can then go to the other two paths to collect all the coins there in the second and third laps. At the end of the course, you can make it back over this gap by mushrooming and hopping at a precise spot, which allows you to collect all four coins from this gliding section. Next, Bone Dry Dunes. There are four coins after this ramp, too far away to just collect from the edge without falling off, but if you go off the ramp and then mushroom into this pit, you respawn before the ramp, which allows you to get the rest of them. N64 Royal Raceway has two coin groups with five coins each. With a large cart combination, you can get three on each lap, but on the final lap, we have to pick between the groups, forcing us to leave behind two coins. Both Hyrule Circuit and Ice Ice Outpost have multiple coins over a gap for a total of two and three impossible possible coins respectively. Paris Promenade has a group of 13 coins after a glider ramp. With a large enough combo, on the first lap you can get 3 coins, but are too spaced out to get more than 2 in following laps, leaving you with 6 uncollectible ones. 
but on the final lap, if you turn around after the glider ramp, Mushroom and Trick, you can get just far enough that Lakitu will drop you off right before the glider ramp. And since we have three mushrooms to work with, we can collect two coins per glider use, meaning it should be possible to get all of them. The problem is that this is pretty tough. It took me almost half an hour to do it just once, and despite being able to repeat it only five minutes later, it was still a pain because every time I missed the trick or missed some of the coins on an earlier lap, I would have to completely restart. After almost four hours of trying this, I gave up. So while it is possible in theory, it likely won't ever be done. Mushroom Gorge has a coin circle of 13, which is in a large cave section near the end of the race. After going through the cave three times, you can get a decent amount of them, but obviously there are still some left over. This means that the course is impossible, right? Well, as it turns out, it is actually possible to make it all the way backwards through the Mushroom Cave, allowing for every coin on the track to be collected. The problematic section on Chaco Mountain is, surprise surprise, also a big coin circle. I was able to get a few coins by going off the glider normally, but it still wasn't even half of them. But luckily, this part right after the glider has a slanted hitbox, meaning that if you go off this edge backwards at a high speed, you can use it as a really nice ramp. By going farther along the track to build up some mini turbo, I was able to jump high enough to grab some of the coins. After repeating this for a few minutes, I only had two coins left to get, which I was able to easily collect in the next two laps. By now, you've probably realized that there's a pattern of courses that are not possible due to a ramp followed by coins in midair. Since this is getting a bit repetitive, I think it's time for a lightning round. On Ninja Hideaway, there's a coin circle during the optional gliding section that crosses over the finish line. However, on this track, you you can only go off the ramp twice, because on the final lap you cross over the finish line and are prevented from grabbing any more. Sydney Sprint has a dynamic track, meaning that you can only get one of the seven coins here due to driving through the section only once. On Piranha Plant Cove, we thought that it was going to be impossible to collect one of the coins at the end of the glider ramp. However, right before I was about to post this video, Galaxy Guy managed to drift off of the glider and collect a coin in such a way that he bonked into an invisible wall which allowed him to navigate back onto the road in order to collect the last two. Grumble Volcano has a coin ring right after this glider ramp. Yoshi's Island also has some more impossible glider coins, Vancouver Velocity has six impossible glider coins, and Waluigi Pinball has these two ramps with seven coins each. Jumping at a sharper angle, using the road after it as a ramp, and even clipping into the wall all failed, so after about an hour, I gave up on it and moved on. Next up is probably the most complicated course in the entire challenge, Rock Rock Mountain. During this course's first gliding section, there's a coin circle. Despite coin circles usually meaning lots of impossible coins, it's actually possible to go through the wall in this section, which, after falling off the course, allows you to get brought all the way back up before the gliding ramp. And the best part is, this doesn't even require mushrooms, meaning you can do it as many times as you want in order to collect every single coin in the circle. At the very end of the track, there's a glide panel with four coins on it. These are too far apart for us to get multiple in a single go, but if we go off the glider facing right to bonk into the wall, navigate to the end of the blocks, and then use a different glitch to clip into the block, we can mushroom through the wall to end up before the glider ramp and collect the last coin on the track. On Bangkok Rush, the problematic section is this bit near the middle of the race that has a glider ramp and then a bunch of coins around a pillar. This looks like there are far too many to collect with just the one time you go off the glider ramp, but we have a few tricks up our sleeve. It's actually possible to use this edge as a ramp to jump up here, get picked up by Lakitu, and get dropped off before the glider ramp. Then, you grab one coin from the first group of coins, and the top one from each of these coin pillars. Once you've done this the maximum four times, you have five coins left at the first group, and the bottom six in the second group, which you can get by using this weird edge as a ramp. Athens Dash has a ton of coins. At the very beginning of the track, there are these pillars with three coins each. You can easily get two from the first group, and then you are able to get every coin in the second group by slowly moving off of the pillar, grabbing the coin, and then quickly backing up into safety. Next, by turning around and boosting, you can use the edge of the platform as a ramp to collect the last coin. Romavanti has these three coins at the edge of this boost panel. The next course, Madrid Drive, really confused us when we started working on it. In-game, we could find a total of 58, but my checks of the game files showed that there were 71. I checked the map, and it turns out that there 
there are 13 coins in a group on this alternate path that none of us even knew existed. This added 10 impossible coins to a course that previously had none, because on the glider ramp right before this, Lakitu would bring us back before it as long as we went off the glider at enough of an angle. These next coins are so impossible that they're not even on the list that Galaxy Guy made. These three are found on Mute City, Big Blue, and Rainbow Road. Now you might be saying, but jokes, Mute City and Big Blue don't have any coins, they just have these panels. But they actually have one each. Big Blue has one sitting inside this island, far away from the main track, and Mute City has one buried deep inside this wall near the end of the race. My best guess for why these exist is because whatever system Nintendo uses to load the coins would break if it checked the data and didn't find anything there, so they just stuck these where players would never be able to reach them as placeholders. Now obviously, Rainbow Road has coins, so this shouldn't be a problem. I have absolutely no clue why this thing even exists. One of my friends had the theory that maybe it was because Rainbow Road was initially supposed to just have these panels too, but who knows. It's like half a mile away from the actual course. I tried looking in that direction to see if maybe I could find it in-game, but it's so far away that it doesn't even show up. For the F-Zero tracks, Big Blue's coin is very far outside the checkpoint system, which means that it definitely won't work. But the thing about Mute City is that it doesn't seem totally out of the question. Now, this doesn't mean it looks easy, not by a long shot, but it is inside the checkpoint tunnel and a lot more reasonable than either of the other two. There are a lot of death barriers in these areas, which are just these planes that if you hit, you get grabbed by Lakitu. We had so many ideas for this, like going around here, getting through the floor of this platform because there's no death barriers on the inside, clipping into the green railings, or going through this wall and boosting to get to it. But no matter what we tried, nothing even came close. The final method I mentioned seemed the most likely because once you get through this wall, the only thing stopping you is a single death barrier right next to the coin. And the death planes don't activate instantly, meaning that if you hit it with enough speed, you might be able to collect the coin regardless. The main problem with this one is that there are actually two wall hitboxes here, which makes it so much harder than just clipping through one. After ages of trying this, we hadn't even gotten to see the coin in-game. Anyway, when all is said and done, there are a total of 82 impossible coins in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe across all the tracks. This has been a massive project, cataloging, double-checking, and attempting to collect these coins, so I would really appreciate it if you subscribe, because I'm getting close to 100k, and every single one helps.